you had uh, the DOJ say this wasn't something they were going to pursue. The Federal District of New York say this wasn't something they were going to pursue. The, the previous district attorney say this is something they weren't going to pursue. And even this district attorney say he wasn't going to pursue it. And then what happened? President Trump announces he's running for re-election. And shazam, and oh, now we're going to pursue it. Yeah, Shazam. That was House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan yesterday on the potential indictment of former President Trump. Jordan sending Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg a letter yesterday demanding his testimony before Congress over his, quote, unprecedented abuse of prosecutorial authority. Sources are now telling Fox News that law enforcement officials now do not expect the former president to be arrested today, but an arraignment is possible next week. Joining me now is Wisconsin Congressman and member of the House Judiciary and Republican Study Committees, Tom Tiffany. Congressman, thanks very much for joining us this morning. What's going on here? What's going to happen with President Trump? And did they now figure out that a mugshot and putting the former president in handcuffs is going to be his campaign picture and it's going to help him? What went on here, do you think? Yeah, thanks, Maria. Well, I think the key question here is what the Judiciary Committee uh, the letter that Chairman Jordan and others have sent to the Manhattan District Attorney. Um, what are you doing here? Um, what is driving this? Are you using federal funds to do this politically motivated prosecution or potential prosecution? Who knows what's going on? What you have is a Soros prosecutor. And I think that's the key element here, as the Florida governor mentioned yesterday. We're seeing that here in the state of Wisconsin, where George Soros is trying to tip the scales on our Wisconsin Supreme Court. This is going on across the country. What is George Soros seeking to have happen here across America? He's using the Manhattan District Attorney, Elvin Bragg, for political purposes. And I don't know for the life of me why the district attorney is even considering something like this. It's a great point. And why does George Soros have all of this power? Because he keeps donating so much money to the Democrats? Oh, that's clearly what is going on. You see it across the country in big cities across America. And I just alluded, we have an absolutely critical Wisconsin Supreme Court race that's coming up. George Soros has poured in hundreds of thousands of dollars for the progressive candidate here, and it's meant to undermine the rule of law. I mean, look at the Manhattan district attorney. He's downgraded what, over half of the misdemeanors down to felonies, but the one misdemeanor he's elevating to a felony as in regards to the uh, former president who wants to run for president again, it makes no sense. They have politicized the judiciary. And that's another question I want to know is, or have answered, Maria, is the district attorney from Manhattan, is he coordinating with the Department of Justice? We need answers that's the letter that Chairman Jordan sent yesterday.